Hi, my name is Zen Markin. I'm a developer advocate at CircleCI. And today I'll be showing you how to integrate CircleCI and Atlassian Jira. Writing code is only a small part of software development process and software delivery lifecycle. As developers, we have to communicate not only within our teams, but also folks in other development teams and other parts of the organizations, design, QA, with the stakeholders, and so on. As developers, we use CircleCI to create continuous integration and deployment pipelines and automate large parts of the software delivery process, from pushing a commit to a remote Git repository, to building, testing, and ultimately delivering that built application to the end users. That process can be and is automated with CircleCI. On the other hand, teams often use Atlassian Jira to track work that we're doing, as well as a single pane of glass view of what's happening to the software projects across our entire organizations. The challenge then is getting information from where the software is built and deployed, that's in Circle CI, to where the products as a whole are being managed and tracked in Atlassian Jira. Integrating Circle CI with Jira solves that problem for many development teams. And now let's take a look at how to set this up and use that integration. To get started integrating Circle CI and Jira, the best way is to follow the instructions on the CircleCI docs. It will take you to the Atlassian Marketplace where you'll install CircleCI for Jira application, as well as to the CircleCI Developer Hub where you'll find info on the CircleCI Jira Orb. Once this is all done, each time you create a build or deployment from CircleCI, you can actually inform your Jira project of what's happening. We'll do that now. This is my Jira project, and we're working on this issue called Procure Unobtainium. Its issue number is AA-9, and we'll use that in our commit message when we're making our changes. Now that we've pushed, CircleCI will take this commit, make its build, make its deployments, and uh, this will reflect in our Jira application. To use Jira in our CircleCI config, all you need to do is add this uh, orb, which gives you a new command to use. The steps, it's called Jira notify. You can either use it without any parameters, which indicates a build, or pass in job type as deployment, which will indicate it's a deployment. You can also say which environment type it is. So development, testing, or production, and that will be reflected in Jira as well. Going back to our CircleCI uh, application, this is now running and it has deployed development environment and testing. And now it's waiting for our approval. And by going into our ticket, we'll see that it's actually been deployed to development and testing. Actually give it approval, which will deploy it to production as well. You can also query the deployments by using the G G Jira query language or JQL. So you query the environment type is production and see all the tickets that I have that were deployed to production. This was a very quick overview of the CircleCI and Jira integration. To learn more, go either to the Atlassian Marketplace page for CircleCI app or go to the CircleCI docs and search for Jira.